It is November 8th, 2024. It's the 313th day of the year, and we've got a daggone hurricane out here in the Gulf and a blizzard happening in the Rocky Mountains and a flash flood and severe weather event happening in the South Central U.S. So still lots to talk about. Let's dive right into it. Here's the latest on that winter storm severity index that we've been tracking with this massive winter storm and blizzard that's been happening in the Rockies. We've still got life-threatening conditions continuing today. Extremely heavy snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour as possible, possibly up to three inches per hour across eastern Colorado and extreme northeastern New Mexico today. So this is moving north a little bit. The, the harder hit areas are now going to be mostly in Colorado today. We're also looking out for the Palmer Divide and Raton Meza areas as they are expecting some of the worst conditions with uh, probably eight inches more snow in some of those areas. Even more than that, uh, on, on top of the mountains. But the good news is it does look like the storm is going to skedaddle um, Saturday. Okay, so we won't have to worry about this anymore on Sunday. But today we have a blizzard warning that continues for a lot of uh, northeastern New Mexico until at least 5 p.m. And then a big winter storm warning that includes Denver and a lot of eastern uh, Colorado uh, through the night tonight into the early morning hours tomorrow. You can also see that we've got a big flood watch out here just a little bit to the east of that. And of course, we continue to have wildfire conditions in the northeast and the southwest with our dry weather. Here's what the radar could look like over the next little bit. This is about 4 p.m. today. You can see a lot of that snow is still falling in Denver back in the northeastern portions of New Mexico. We've got heavy rain from Nebraska down into Oklahoma. And on the southern side of this, we talked about this yesterday, we also have some thunderstorms. In fact, I think later this afternoon, we could see some strong thunderstorms, especially in the DFW metro. Look at this, 8 p.m. eastern. 7 p.m. Central, we could have some isolated damaging wind producers, hail producers, and maybe even tornado producers. Storm Prediction Center is on the same page as we do have a slight risk today for Dallas and Fort Worth and Waco. This is mostly driven by a wind threat, but hail and tornadoes are on the board as well. In fact, we've got a 5% probability of seeing tornadoes today. So definitely don't let your guard down and be hyper weather aware in the DFW area this afternoon, probably starting about 4 p.m. and going through 8 to 9 p.m. or so. Just make sure you've got a way of getting those warnings. And then as I push this forward, the storms are going to continue eastward. Uh, 4 a.m. though, everything's going to be quite scattered and weak across Arkansas, Missouri, East Texas, and Louisiana. The heavy rain continues up here in South Dakota and Nebraska, and the snow is also going to be letting up a little bit during this time, so that's good news. It's going to continue to snow probably until 12 p.m. on Saturday, and then things are really going to let up in Denver. It's mostly going to be over by that time frame. Now, what's not going to be over is the rain, okay? So all of the energy here uh, from our severe weather today is going to move into the mid-Mississippi River Valley down into the Delta region. This is going to cause heavy rain in Louisiana and Mississippi. Some moisture from our hurricane, Raphael, is going to be coming up into this as well, adding insult to injury. We've got the potential for some rough surf down here along the Gulf Coast. is something I don't think that we've really mentioned, but the hurricane is going to come close enough to where it could potentially cause some choppy seas and some additional flash flooding problems. But other than that, it's not something that we're really that concerned about. Here's the total expected rainfall over the next couple of days. You can see there's a couple areas that get two to three inches over here from around Nashville back towards places in central in uh, eastern Louisiana. And also a lot of moisture still expected today in Oklahoma, portions of Texas and Kansas. We do have a slight risk of excessive rainfall today over here. So make sure you watch out for those creeks and streams. It's the, the ground's already super saturated, so uh, more rain is going to cause some problems. And then, of course, our next system coming in will bring some rain and some snow to the Cascades, so watch out over there as well. Big story with this storm system continues to be the snow, though. Once again, on top of the mountains, we're looking at another foot or two of snow, but, you know, farther down, closer to uh, sea level, there's even some places that'll see eight inches of snow or more, so travel's going to be really, really difficult uh, out here. We're going to have intermittent blizzard conditions all day today. If you've got to be out there on the road, Bring a winter survival kit with you because this is one of those systems where it could come down so fast that you get stuck. People might not be able to come help you in a timely manner and uh, just keep that in mind, okay? Hurricane Rafael is still churning out there in the Gulf of Mexico. It's crazy. You know, as I'm filming this video, it's a Category 3. And I don't know how many times we've had a Category 3 in the Gulf and there's just really not much to say about it. <laughs> 
I mean, it's just sitting there. It's not really hurting anybody, and it's very quickly weakening. I think it's going to be a tropical storm by Sunday. It is going to do this really interesting loop-de-loop. -loop where it's going to look like it's coming up towards Louisiana and then it's going to go back down this way as it turns into a remnant low by early next week. So this is really not going to cause any problems for anybody. We are going to see a very, very small chance of there being some tropical storm force wind gusts intermittently in southern Louisiana, especially tomorrow as that little loop happens. But the main thing that we're going to see up here is some residual moisture and some flooding. And also there could be some choppy seas, some rip currents and stuff as a result of the waves coming off of this thing hitting the southern side of Louisiana here, maybe even southeast Texas as well. Now, something else that's interesting is Raphael is not the only tropical disturbance that we're keeping an eye on. There's another one over here just north of Puerto Rico coming up towards the Bahamas. The good news with it is also doesn't look like much is going to happen with it right now, so we're going to keep an eye on it, but not much to talk about there either. Let's look even farther into the future that you can see the GFS doing that little loop-de-loop -loop there with our storm system. Once again, and the main thing that's going to happen here is some heavy rain, maybe around New Orleans, Biloxi, that area. It's also going to throw some moisture up against the other system that we're talking about that's going to cause uh, rain in the mid-Mississippi River Valley up into the Ohio Valley and Northeast, which is actually good. Um, this will probably bring some much needed rain to places like Ohio and West Virginia. It's not drought busting rain, but it is rain and, you know, we'll take it. Things are going to clear out quite significantly, though, as we go into Monday, November 11th. Another system is coming into the Pacific Northwest here. We'll see what happens with that one. Not much, honestly. It is probably going to promote a sharper cold front to come into the north central U.S. over towards the Great Lakes. It might get cold in Chicago uh, in the middle of next week, but not cold enough to snow. There might be some heavier rain once again in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, over there towards Maryland, New Jersey, and New York by Thursday, which is also a welcomed thing, but it's nothing significant. There actually might be some backside snow in the Adirondacks here as we go into late next Next week as well. And then we talked about this in the last video. From here on, something interesting happens where we've got a really quiet weather pattern settling across the United States. That's what I'm rooting for, obviously, but we can't put too much stock in the GFS beyond 180 hours. This is 192 hours from now. We might as well be looking at a three-year-old's prediction of what the weather's going to be. This thing is not very accurate here. At this point, we're just looking for trends. And what I'm seeing is mostly quiet weather, more tropical activity down there coming out of the Caribbean. The Caribbean does not want to go to sleep, man. November 19th, we've got ourselves a hurricane on the GFS here, flirting with Cuba and Florida once again. Now, what does this mean? Honestly, nothing. Uh, it doesn't mean that this is going to happen. It doesn't mean that we should be even paying attention to this at all. It does mean that there is still enough energy uh, to produce storms, and there's enough ocean heat content to sustain storms right now. So that's kind of unusual for November. It's not unheard of, but it's something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on. And if there's any reason to pay attention to that whatsoever, I will let you know. I think one of the good things that could come out of this is all of this moisture and all of this activity coming out of the Gulf is going to eventually cause a lot of rain across the eastern side of the U.S., which is something that we need and something that's hinted at, I guess I should say, uh, here on the GFS. Although it is keeping most of it in the southeast when we need it in the northeast, but we'll watch those trends as we go forward. But right now, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to talk about there. This pattern right here is going to continue to hold true probably all the way to Thanksgiving. It's going to feel too daggone hot in the east, too daggone cold in the west. And yeah, that's just where we are right now. There's not a lot else to say about it right now. And yeah, unless something big happens with that next potential uh, storm system, uh, or unless another severe weather system kind of uh, introduces itself here, you're likely not going to see me again until Monday where we do our weekly video, okay? I don't think there's going to be a need for a video tomorrow or Sunday. And then after that, once again, if there's no additional developments with that tropical system or anything else, we might not do a video Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday either. Wednesday and Thursday are a maybe, but right now things are looking quiet for the foreseeable future after today. Today's still pretty intense, so enjoy it while it lasts, and um, I'm sure Sure that I'll be right back here hooting and hollering at you again about some sort of uh, severe weather system before too long. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Ooh.